Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1425. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook file so you can follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we got two videos in a row that we're going to do on this sheet. And the first one is how to use the index function and number incrementers to convert a two-way table to a single column table. Now, I'm going to temporarily hide the columns K to M. So I highlight, right click, hide. Now, there's multiple ways to take each one of these columns and put them into a single column. We could use Power Query. We could use Paste Special. But I want to use a formula because anytime anything changes here, I don't want to mess around with refreshing. I want the formula to instantly update. Now, actually, i got to show you this trick. If you just are doing this as a one-time thing, watch this. I'm going to highlight Control-CC to open up the clipboard. And then I'm going to highlight each column, Control-C, Control-C. In fact, watch this. Right arrow, Control-Shift, down arrow, Control-C. Right arrow, Control-Shift, down arrow, Control-C. Right arrow, highlight down, Control-C. And I'm going to do that for each one. Notice as I copy each one of the columns, they're loaded up here. Now I can simply come over to the side somewhere, full list, Enter. And now I simply click Paste All. And instantly I have converted that two-way table into a single table. But again, the point of this video is that I want this to be dynamic. Anything changes here, I want to update here. Now we have eight columns and 40 rows. And if we're thinking about copying a single formula down, it's got to get first row, first column, first row, second column, first row, third column. When it gets down to the second row, second row, first column, second row, second column. So if we're thinking inside our formula, as we copy down, I need to go 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 8 times, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I'm going to build for the index function the row element that will create the pattern 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, and then the column pattern off to the side. Anytime we're using number incrementers, we're going to use the rows function with an expandable range. Now, I'm actually going to put the formula in N7. So I'm going to type N dollar sign 7 colon N7 close parentheses. This is an expandable range with rows counting how many rows there are. 7 to 7, that is 1. Control Enter. When I copy it down and come down to any subsequent cell, we can see the 7 was locked here, but not here. So here it's counting. How many rows? There's six. Now I want ones and then twos eight times. So watch this, F2. I'm going to divide that by eight. Control Enter. Double click and send it down. Look at that. It goes numbers almost up to one and then one. Numbers almost up to two and two. So with the active cell at the top in the highlighted range, I hit F2. I simply need to round up to the integer. So I come to the end, comma, number of digits. It's going to be 0. That says round to the nearest integer. Control-Enter to populate that formula all the way down. So that's the pattern for 8 ones, 8 twos, and so on. Now I'm going to come over here and cheat. Control-C, Escape, equal sign, Control-V. Now if we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, then we need to think about doing division and getting the remainder. Now I'm going to take this number incrementer, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and I'm going to subtract 1. Control, Enter. Now we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all the way to 16. If I divide this by 8 and ask what the remainder is, it would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. But down here, the remainder would also be 8 divided by 8, the remainder is 0. 9 divided by 8, the remainder is 1. So that's the pattern we're going to use. And the function we use to get the remainder after division is the mod function. There's the numerator. 
comma, the denominator is 8. Close parentheses. Now this won't quite give us what we want. Control Enter, double click and send it down. But 0 to 7, 0 to 7, that's the pattern. Active cell at the top, F2, I simply add 1. Control Enter to populate that all the way down. Now I'm going to clear the clipboard. Come over here, F2. And I'm very carefully going to highlight Control C. I've loaded it up onto the clipboard. Come over here, F2. Same thing. I'm going to Control C to load it on the clipboard. Now watch this. I'm going to drag clipboard over here. And here's our formula equals index. And the entire range, watch this. I'm going to click in the upper left. Control Shift right arrow, Control Shift down arrow to highlight all the way to the bottom, and then F4 to lock it, comma. Now the row, that's round up, comma. Now the column, that's mod. Those will give the proper row number and column number for extracting from our array. Come to the end, close parentheses, Control Enter. Control C, and I'm going to use my scroll bar because I've established the bottom of the spreadsheet. Before I click on the last cell, I'm going to hold Shift, click to highlight Control V. And there we have extracted, I'll move the clipboard back over here, all the way down to the bottom, every single number. I'm going to hit F2 to verify, and sure enough, that is looking good. Escape Control Home. So in this video, we saw how to take a two-way table, take each one of the columns, and convert it to a table with a single column. All right, when we come back in our next video, we're actually going to see how to, from any intersecting value, look up the column headers and the row headers. All right, we'll see you next video.